preschool friends, how are you? It's Miss Leslie and I'm here to bring you another Bible story for chapel today. All of our chapel stories come from the Bible and the Bible is God's word. Now, before we start talking about our Bible story today, I wanna to sing a song, one that we always sing to start chapel. It's called, Be Still and Know That He Is God. And it kinda of helps us focus and be ready to learn about God. Ready, here we go. Be still and know that He is God. Be still and know that He is God. Be still and know that He is God. Very good, friends. Thank you for singing that with me. This is the story of Noah and his ark. So I have a question for you, friends. Does anybody know what an ark is? If you know what an ark is, I'm gonna count to three and I want you to shout it out, okay? So on the count of three, if you know what an ark is, shout it out. Ready? One, two, three, shout. That's right, an ark is a boat, a boat that floats on the water. Very good. Now, when Noah lived, he lived in a time where there was something called a drought. And a drought is when it doesn't rain for a very long time. Well, God told Noah to build an ark to build a boat because there was going to be a flood and a flood means lots and lots of rain. Well, it hadn't rained for a very long time. So when Noah started building that ark, people thought it was pretty funny and they laughed and they laughed at Noah because they didn't think it was going to rain that much. But here's something that you need to know about Noah. Noah was a friend of God. And a long, long time ago, when Noah's story happened, the other people in the world were not friends of God. People were being mean to each other and fighting and not treating each other nice, and they also were not listening to God. And this made God sad. And God decided that it was kind of time to start over. He was gonna send rain, a big flood, to wash everything away and start all over with the world, except for his friend Noah and Noah's family. So there was Noah. Hey, I'm Noah. There was Noah's wife. And I'm Mrs. Noah. And he had three sons, Shem, How's it going? Ham, up, and Japheth. Let's do this. And those each had a wife, so his three sons had three wives. So there were a total of eight people that were going to get on this ark, the boat that Noah was building. Well, Noah worked hard and he built that ark even though people laughed and made fun of him. Well, one other thing that God told Noah to do, not just build an ark, but he needed to fill that ark with, do you guys know? What did Noah fill the ark with? Who got on the ark two by two? If you know the answer on the count of three, shout it out. Who got on the ark two by two? Ready? One, two, three, shout it out. That's right, animals, animals got on the ark. And I love to think about what kinds of animals were on that ark. I bet there were a lot of animals and I bet it was crowded. Here we go. What's your favorite animal? Think for a minute. What is your favorite animal? Is it a fluffy little kitten? Is it a bunny, a dog, a tall giraffe? What kind of animal do you like? On the count of three, I want you to shout it out. Ready? One, two, three, shout it out. Whoa, that's a lot of animals. Well, I love animals. At home, I have two dogs in my house and our neighbors have a whole bunch of cats and kittens and my kids love to play with them and pet them and cuddle them. So think about all the animals that might've gotten on the ark. And I have a few here to show you. What about doggies? Woof, woof. Do you think there were doggies on the ark? I think there probably were. What about some bears? Look at this cute little bear. Do you think there were bears on the ark? I think maybe there were. What about, oh, look at this little hedgehog. Hello. <laughs> were there hedgehogs on the ark? 
Maybe. There were all kinds of animals on the ark. I've got a flamingo. Do you think there were flamingos on the ark? There might be. And maybe elephants and sheep and cows and all those other animals that we always talk about when we talk about the story of Noah. Well, one day it started to rain. So God had been right. And of course, Noah had listened to God. It rained, and it rained, and it rained. And Noah and the animals got inside, and they closed the doors, and then the ark started to float on all of that water, and it floated way up high. And do you know, it floated on those waters for 40 days and 40 nights. Whew, that is a long time to be stuck in a boat. It rained and rained and rained and rained and rained for a long time. But God trusted Noah. And I think while Noah was on the ark, he spent some time praying to God and saying, God, I know you said you would protect us and keep us safe, but we've been in this ark a long time. Are you really going to protect us and keep us safe? I think he probably worried some, so he talked to God when he got worried. And God told Noah, yes, Noah, I promise to keep you safe and to save you from the flood. And you know what? Eventually, after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped and it was finally quiet. They didn't hear all that loud rain and thunder and lightning anymore. But you know what, that boat sat floating on top of that water for a very long time because all that rain had flooded and then the flood waters had to go back down. Meanwhile, they were all just stuck in the ark waiting and waiting and waiting and they were there for a long, long time. Well, finally the ark settled on top of a mountain. And so they could kind of come out and look around a little bit, but there was still a lot of water and the water went down and down and down. And once the water went down far enough, Noah sent out a little birdie. We'll pretend our flamingo is that birdie, but it was really a dove. <laughs> he sent out a birdie and the birdie couldn't find a place to land. So it came back and he sent that birdie out again and it didn't find a place to land. So it came back and finally he sent out the birdie and it came back holding a branch from a tree, which meant that there were plants growing again and things were drying out. And then he sent the birdie out again and you know what? It didn't come back, which meant there was dry land. The birdie found a place to land. And all the people in the ark, Noah and his family, yay! They were so happy that there was dry land. So finally, Noah and his family and all the animals could come out of the ark and find a new place to live and start all over in a fresh new world. And you know what they saw in the sky when they came out of the ark and they looked up? They saw a rainbow. It was God's promise to them that he would never destroy the world again with water. So a rainbow is God's promise. See, God kept his promise to Noah and his family to keep them safe inside the ark. And God keeps his promises to us. And whenever we see a rainbow, we can be reminded that he loves us and we can trust him to keep his promises. He has promised to always love us and we know that he always will. So let that rainbow remind you that God loves you. All right, friends, it's time to sing a song about Noah and the ark. So we're going to sing the Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody floody okay sing it with me if you know it and if not just copy my moves and do your best to sing along okay I'm gonna push play here and here we go ready the Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody floody Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody, get those animals out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. 
the Lord told Noah to build him an arky arky Lord told Noah to build him an arky arky build it out of gopher barky barky children of the Lord so rise and shine and give God the glory glory rise and shine and give God the glory glory rise and shine and Give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The animals, they came, they came in by twosies, twosies. Animals, they came, they came in by twosies, twosies. Elephants and kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It rained and poured for forty long daisies, daisies rained and poured for forty long daisies, daisies almost drove those animals crazy, crazy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The sun came out and dried up the landy, landy sun came out and dried up the landy, landy everything was fine and dandy, dandy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Children of the Lord, children of the Lord. Good job. All right, friends, before we go, we're going to say a prayer. So I'm going to say a few words and then you repeat after me. Could you fold your hands? Show me your prayer hands. And if you want, even close your eyes to help you focus so you're not distracted. So I'll say some words, then you say them after me. Dear God, Thank you for loving us. Thank you for keeping your promises. Help us to keep our promises too. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job today, friends. I hope you enjoyed the story of Noah and his ark, and I hope you will remember that God always keeps his promises. See you next time.